We got a Saskazi. Ready to go over for the team one versus Advo. These two have been kind of tussling out tonight, man. Full dots out of the Feral Druid and immediately berserking as Advo having to pop every defensive in the world, waiting for a wall for until later. Are you running Curse of Exhaustion? What kind of curse is that? Curse of Fragility? Is that a real curse? Is it going to be playing with the Incu. Uh, Shibara, rather. Has Shubara out in the open? I don't know if I'm going to Shubara is going to be against the Feral Druid, but maybe okay. Swap it out to an Observer. So I have a try to go for the pet that can actually deal with the Feral. For observer is better than Shubara because it can interrupt and it can seal buffs like Hots from Cozy. And it looks like Adva is actually going to have to go for super far range and resummon a new pet. That pet is actually getting blasted out by Cozy. Unless you realize his pet is actually super low on health. This is where Adva could potentially be in a tight spot because that Feral one needs to interrupt it. Cozy just needs to swipe it out once and it's done. And it's over. Monk charging out in the middle. Not really sure what's going on. Going to be big drained by... <laughs> I got... Sorry, I got distracted by the Monk for a second. I didn't even realize Adva had no health. I got distracted there for a second. That monk zoomed out of nowhere. Maybe that's why he did it. Maybe he thought, oh, okay, Adam is dead. <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be. But he's trying to see if he can just drop down. Oh, big burst, big kick. I don't do well. As Cozy trying to see if he can find tooth and nail and claw to recover. Going for a quick cycle. Going to be a port for the well. Rolling back in there. Not giving Cozy a breathing opportunity. And he just gave him a quick touch of death, putting him on the bed. Putting the sweet, sweet kitty cat to bed. Zip up next. Immediately get a shot. Full sepsis onto the well. Does he dispel it? He needs to dispel the poison immediately. That sepsis and that's full dots is going to be blind. A zip. One full burst, but now he just removed all the dots. Duel must likely dispel himself of the sepsis, but that blind removes all those bleeds from zip. So this is where you have to go for a bit of a reset. -y. As a rogue, you just burn Vendetta. You got to find a way to deal with the monk. You either got to play a very, very slow game until your cooldowns are back or you have to find a way to get back in there and ride him down over time. I'm not really sure which one he's going to end doing though, but we'll see. We'll see. Zip is going to be a hell of a game. Zip definitely has a lot of potential to do damage, but when playing defensively so far, it's been a little bit tougher and it's a monk too. We can just burst it down in just two seconds. Get hit with a sap. Try to see maybe if you can find Zip. Has maybe a few seconds off the eye. Maybe actually on top of him. Gonna be a quick stab by Zip. At least he's able to give himself a life here with the saps. Duel is picking up the eye though. Actually kind of DR'd. If Duel finds Zip in the right spot, it could be lights out for Zip. Has no thing except for evasion and faint. Does catch him with a new cap. BDB down, doesn't break it, legs up to follow. If Duel messes up, I think Zip is living, but that's the only way he survives. A big kick, that's our invasion. The last second is able to keep himself alive for a little bit longer. Smoke bomb, maybe to create line inside. Let's try to see if he can start step towards Duel. Hit him with a kidnap shot, looking for a bit of a reset. And Zip just continuing to run. Monk just charging out at him. It's gonna hit him with a root immediately. Hit him with a hamstring as he's charging around him. Flying over his head with a dragon kick. Just someone to the monk, denied for Sephiroth for a little bit. Random BDB drops in. And Duel does he have no damage? Fist of Fury locked out Zip. Trying to see if he can bail out of them with a Night Fae. But it's going to be a one more kick for Duel. Kiddushot comes out. Wait, Zip does. That's not going out without a fight. He does go for the Kiddushot, but I think it may be over. Far to his very last breath. Far to the very, very end. Does burn a sepsis onto Duel. Trying to see if he can make a play here. But Monk is going to immediately dispel it. Man, that's tough. Akelia trying to see if they might be able to tussle with Duel. I got to figure out his name. Uh, Duel is something. I don't even know what. I don't even know what. <laughs> we call him Duel for short. Got himself a flash cup. Akali charging out little by little. Are you... You gotta be Night Fae, right? There's no way you're not Night Fae. I was about to say, like, are you Necrolord? For some reason, I'm like, okay, Necrolord uh, affliction. Yeah, that's totally a thing. I mean, I like it personally. It's a cool play style, in my opinion. I wish more people played it, but I can see why people don't. In cap onto Akalia. Wait, so isn't, um, Soul Rot, isn't that a disease? Can't ch Duel actually just remove it? I just thought about it. Isn't Soul Rot a disease chat? Like, it's a dot, but it's a disease. Like, it counts as a disease. Can it be just purged? Just cleansed by Duel? Because he can remove poisons and diseases as a monk. Gonna be an interrupt onto Shadow as a Kelly. It does burn up to get those dots to ramp up a little bit. Gonna be a full second to see onto Duel. This is karma. Gonna be good karma. Actually giving him quite a bit of healing. And Kelly is just trying to see if he can maybe tussle through those dots. Let those dots keep burning down the monk. Monk does go for a damp and harm to potentially reduce some of the damage taken by the affliction warlock. Mordecai sending him out in the open, but it's going to be in cap to counter him. 
And Duel is actually taking a bit of damage, playing it very, very defensive. I think he may have to play defensive until next Karma, but this is why Kelly is just not letting him go anywhere. The Fed is going to swing around the corner, potentially go for second to CC, which no longer moves dots anymore. Or, I don't think it is. I think it's supposed to function like a fear nowadays. Going to be stunned around the corner. It doesn't quite catch him. Duel trying to go for as much recovery as much as possible. And that's going to be a Kelly here. Just getting hit with a root. Lexi, as the pet gets stunned up, it's going to be Imidus for Sephiro flying. And Kelly does have a bit of defense. That's going to be reflect. I don't really know if you can reflect much versus the monk. Going to be immediate pet sack. Drink inside of it. Rolling Jack up for Fall of Fear by Kelly. Doesn't get a dot, at least in between of it. With a drain life chart, recover health from Duel, but he doesn't get an absorb. Unless you're able to attack the health of the monk, you're not able to get much healing from drain life. So him having a shield actually prevents you from being able to heal properly. Another fear, potentially Kelly doesn't have any more mobility. Try to go for a bit of a drain. Touch of death to follow. And Duel just doesn't let him out of, out of the sight at all. He's going to be up next. Is he just going to go crushing him down? Big Vendetta? No, I think he's just trying to see if he can rot it down. Him. This is going to be a flash card trying to give him life trinkets with an intro. Trying not to let Duel recover. This is for you, but I think the dots have set in. And the monk does go down. He decided, you know what? I'm not going to commit big damage just yet. Yeah, Bib up next. Whoever gets the first stun here with a Vendetta, I think maybe just win. Disarm for disarm. You're building up calm points. Look up to get a stun immediately. Doesn't get a stun versus Bib. Let's go for the big Vendetta. This is what Bib needs to trick it or something. Anything right now. He's actually just going to run down unless he got anything. Clock or shadows. Flash cap. Interrupted for a second. The blaze is still on you. Unless it actually took down, got a vendetta of his own. Vanish of all trying to see if he can catch you, but he can't quite do it. That's going to be a blind note to you, but MMD do you have dots on you. He doesn't. Wait, he actually is alive, but the Kevin Slime is going to be on him. Into a resonator blinded the oh trick inside of it trying to keep the pressure rolling trying not to deny ye the victory but the kid is trying to catch them and I think he gets them oh my god these rogues are so deadly what are these rogues Eugene is going to be up next trying to see if he can maybe take down ye a couple of death coils and it's going to be over as an unholy death knight I think Jesus does well as a frost but he definitely does a lot better I think in my opinion from what we've seen as an unholy shackle onto the abomination stone permanently jesus with an ams to try to remove adcc from sp sp is kind of stuck in place going to be a trinket great fate to follow may have to go for a disperse trying to see i think trying to go for a goblin racial but that's going to be jesus just yoinking min there he's like i don't want to mess with you games i don't want to mess with these tricks I just want to take it down. Silence on the SP may have to no more disperse. Definitely needs to pop every defensive available. Fear on Jesus does have a way to break out of it. Flash got to follow. No way to interrupt it. Interrupt SP and shadow instead. SP may be in a bit of trouble right now at all. Got himself one void bolt out at the end. There's not much you can do. When you get a maul by an holy death knight like that, there's only so much you can do. Jesus at the end, though, sweeping it. Well done. Monk actually was quite a quite a competitor there. The Monkus was holding his ground for a while, wasn't he? Well then, there it is. Uh, Alright, let's get another going, yeah?